Beginning with deed check 8, you can now enter deeds such as the northeast quarter of the southeast quarter of the northwest quarter of Section 10, Township 37 South, Range 18 East. These types of deeds are created in accordance with the PLSS, or Public Land Survey System. In this system, land is described by simply dividing sections into halves and fourths and so on ad infinitum. These are more properly referred to as aliquot part descriptions, but are also known as sectional breakdown or rectangular descriptions. The PLSS is made up of a rectangular grid of, of uh, ranges and townships. And uh, a township and a range, or basically a township, is six miles on each side for a total of 36 square miles. Each mile inside of a township is called a section. So these blocks of townships extend north and south, and blocks of townships or ranges extend east and west. Sections, by definition, are one mile square. However, in reality, this is rarely the case, and that's because uh, when the surveyors went out there to measure, you know, measuring a precise mile, especially 150, 200 years ago, uh, was a difficult uh, thing at best, uh, going through mountainous terrain and forest and, and rivers and so forth. So in reality, it, the property may not be a perfect mile, but as far as D-check is concerned, uh, it treats everything as if it were a standard mile. So all sections in here are nice, neat, clean, square mile sections. To enter this type of deed, click the Draw menu, and then Track by Aliquot Parts. Now simply enter the description into the dialog box. Most of the time, you can enter it just as it appears in the deed, like this. northeast quarter of the southeast quarter of the south west quarter of section 12 township 37 south range 18 east And there's the parcel. Let's do another one. First, I'm going to change my fill settings to make it easier to tell which parcel is which. And I'm going to turn annotations off for now to cut down on the clutter for this example. So again, I, sec I select the draw menu and then tracked by aliquot parts. And this time, I want the north 200 feet of the parcel that I just entered. And to save all that typing, I'm just going to paste the rest of it in from the clipboard. And there it is. How about this? the south half of the east 10 feet of the north 200 feet of the so on and so forth parcel that we already have. And there it is right there. Kind of hard to see. This is fairly small. We can process sectional breakdowns in this manner up to eight levels deep. Notice that in our example, all the parcels are located correctly in relationship to each other. That's because in this case I included the section, township, and range information. If you're entering several of these kind of deeds, it's a good idea to include the section, township, and range information for just this reason. If you're only entering a single parcel and are only interested in its shape and area, then you can ignore the section, township, and range. 
For instance, if I just want the northeast quarter of the southeast quarter of the southwest quarter of a section, and I really don't care which section it is, because that's all I want is just the parcel, there it is. In this case, since there was no section, township, and range to reference, GCheck would place this parcel in the section that's closest to the XY coordinate origin at 00. zero. It probably doesn't matter to you at all, but if you want to know it, that's it. Now, if I do a zoom all, an interesting thing happens. You can see my original parcels down here. And I have to zoom in quite a bit to get to them. If you recall, I used a township of 37 south. That means that these parcels down here are 37 townships south of the 00 origin, or about 200 miles. Now if I use the zoom window command up here, and again have to uh, zoom in a couple of times, you can see the latest parcel that I just entered without a section township range. Here are a few other things to note about the track by aliquot parts command. If you make a mistake when typing in the deed data, dcheck will highlight the unrecognized text in red. For example, in this case, township is, is misspelled. If I correct the misspelling, we're good to go. Let's do another one. Can you tell what's wrong with this one? This one's a little tougher. I'll give you a hint. There's nothing misspelled with it. The problem is that townships only run north and south, and here I mistakenly entered the township as an east township. I'll change it back to south, and that should take care of the problem. One other thing I want to mention is that, as you've already seen, DCheck is quite flexible in how you enter the deed information. You don't need to learn any special codes or shorthand notation. For instance, you can abbreviate your entry, such as Northeast Quarter, or you could spell it out. However, you do need to be consistent and, of course, accurate. In this example, I abbreviated Northeast using periods, in other words, N period E. And for Southeast, I didn't use any periods, I just said SE. But here, I mixed the two. I did South with no period, and the West, or the W, with a period. That doesn't fly. So I either need to put a period here or take, take the one away from there, and then it works. Here are some other things you need to know about the routine. You can only process parcels in one section, township, or range at a time. For instance, the following description would cause an error. And that's because we're taking the west 200 feet of sections 20, 29, and 32. Instead, the way to handle this is to take each section by itself. In other words, run the command three times. Whoops, can't have a plural there. Section 20. To make this more distinct, I'm going to change my um, fill pattern here in a different color so we can more easily see what we're doing. Okay, now I'll do the next section. And I'll change my fill color again. And do the last section. And again, I made the mistake 
of a plural. Okay. There are all three of them. I'm going to turn show tick marks off so we can see it a little easier. Now what I would do is, first for this one, I'll zoom in so I can see a little easier. Use the regular tracked command. And I'll just start tracing it. I'll start right there. I'll click there, there, there. Scroll on down. Start scrolling up the other side. And my track is finished. If I move it, you can see now that I now have one long parcel, one long track that represents this description of these three items. You would also use this technique if your description describes a parcel less a smaller portion of the parcel. First you would draw the main parcel, then draw another parcel representing the lesser portion, and then again use the regular track command to trace the portions that you need for the final description. And finally, when you enter the deed information into the dialog box, only include the information relevant to the actual breakdown of the section itself such as the north half of the northeast quarter and so on. If the deed says something like the north half of the parcel lying in the northeast quarter of the aforementioned section herewith and so on and on and on and on, all that window dressing, so to speak, will only confuse the program. So clean it up so only the relevant information to be described is included, the meat of the description.